Hi and welcome to this Key Learning Initiative video. Today's topic is finance and we're going from cost price to selling price and then from selling price back to cost price. Before we get going, please remember to like and share this video, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Also remember that your comments are always welcome. So if you have questions, I'll answer them if you just put them in the comments section. But let's get going with today's lesson. So, cost price to selling price. Let's have a look. Our steps. Firstly, we calculate the percentage markup. Then we add the above answer to the original price. So let's put this in an example. So example one. The cost price of a pair of shoes is 150 Rand. If the store puts a 60% markup on the shoes, what is the new price? So our first step is to calculate the percentage markup. To do this, we take 150, which is the cost price of the shoes. We times it by 60% because that's the markup percentage. Now, if you can put it in your calculator and press equals or if you don't have a calculator what we need to do is take 150 and times it by 60 over 100 then we can cancel and do our thing and eventually we should get 90 rand then our second step add the above answer to the original price so we take 150 which is the original price we adding it and we adding 90 rand and that's the 60 percent markup so 150 plus 90 will give me 240 rand so if the cost price of a pair of shoes is 150 bucks and the store puts a 60% markup on it, then the final cost will be 240 Rand. Now let's go the other way, from selling price to cost price. So we have to calculate the markup using the formula below. So our formula is markup equals selling price times the percentage over a hundred plus a percentage now that formula looks terrible but when we use it you'll see it's not so bad please guys you have to remember this formula off by heart once you've worked that out our second part is subtract the above answer from the original price example two the selling price of a pair of shoes is 400 Rand. If the store puts a 40% markup on the shoes, what is the cost price? Okay, so let's have a look. We start off with our formula. My markup equals my selling price. So let's look, what is my selling price? My selling price is 400 Rand. Then I multiply that, and now I use a fraction. What is my markup? It's 40%, and so I write 40 at the top. Then in my denominator, or at the bottom, I write 100 plus, and again, then it's 40, because that is my markup. See where I've written 40. In the numerator or the top, and in the denominator, I've gone 100 plus 40. So, next thing we do equals 114 Rand and 29 cents. Now, if you don't have a calculator, this is a very difficult thing to do. So most of the time when you get asked this, you will be allowed to use a calculator. But let's move on to the second step. Subtract the above answer from the original price. Well, the original price 
was 400 then I have to subtract the markup that I've just worked out which is 114 Rand and 29 cents that equals and again I put it in my calculator and I press equals and I get 285 Rand and 71 cents and so that was the original cost price of that pair of shoes and so thank you for watching this key learning initiative video on finance where we've worked out the selling price and they've given us the cost price or they've given us the selling price and they've asked us to work out the cost price please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't like and share the video so that more and more people can watch them remember also any feedback or comments would be very welcome I hope this video has been helpful.